calisthenics and a commercial gym. the best way to build muscle. A scientific study just came out by Jeff Nippert answering this exact question and it comes down to two key things. First is that range of motion is the most important factor. You need a range of motion that fully stretches the muscle. And second is that each rep should last two to eight seconds total. So this can be one second up, one second down, or one second up and seven seconds down. But the most important part being controlling the negative movement and not just letting the weight fall. And as always, you can access my workout plans through the link in my bio. Light work, no reaction. Light work, no reaction. Light work, no reaction. Ooh. Okay, it's got <laughs> on you today who checked on you this week fuck it who checked on you this month yeah and i don't mean checked on you as in they want to get high they want to get drunk they want to use you for a motive i mean checked on you just to see if you was okay i mean checked on you just to see if you want to catch up over a coffee not these people who've always got a personal gain or a personal motive from it they want to use you for a good time no nah, those ones don't care about you they don't care about your mental health they don't care about your life they don't care about your career and they don't care about your relationship think about it People are gonna use you all the time. They're disguised as friends, but they're fake. Only real friends will tell you what you need to hear. Only real friends will push you forward. Only real friends will check in on you to see how you are. They care about you. So fuck off all these fake friends, man, who are using you for a good time or parties or drink or drugs. Fuck them off. Get around good people. Get around real people. Put yourself first and only have a few friends. Associates are easy to come by, but they don't care. Enjoying the video, you fucking animal? I hope you're ready to lift some heavy ass weight. Do me a favor and subscribe. Anyway, back to the testosterone boost.
Chris Arnold. I need your help. What's the problem, my son? I need to get big. My son, come. We do some flies. Do it now. Come on, help you. Well, uh, my son. You are huge now. Two more reps. Uh, One more. Uh, One more. Quick. Uh, oh, me too. Uh, uh, thank you, Chris. You're welcome, my son. Uh, praise. This stupid bodybuilder has the weakest overhead press. Oh no no! <laughs> Why would you do a behind the neck press when I don't know you can press in front of your freaking face? No, this is a very unrealistic movement. But you put your cervical spine in an awkward position, and you're far weaker in this position than a standard overhead press. I am not in danger, Skyler. I am the danger. I am the one who knocks. Your total testosterone is over 1100. From a medical standpoint, you would be considered high, okay? Anything over 1100, according to this chart, you would be high. Doctors would look at you and say, your testosterone is too high, you need to bring it down. Now, I'm here sitting with you guys telling you that I've had testosterone levels as low as 280 and I've had testosterone levels as high as 4,500. Okay. I'm not going to tell you how much gear it takes to get your testosterone to 4,500. I do not recommend doing that. It was a short term thing. I wanted to see what would happen. I have been known to run a few science experiments on myself for data and research. Okay. I'm glad I did because that's how I got here. And I can give you guys this information that most people can't because they either don't want to share it or they just have never tried it to actually gather the data on what happens to themselves. All right. I was on a lot of testosterone to get my number that high and the side effects just were not worth it. You're an optimal lifter. All right. All right. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let's uh, let's check the pump. Oh my 
my god. The fucking last two felt like they weren't even fucking moving. Oh. Oh. I feel like a little better form I could have got the last one. That felt good though. Holy cow. Do you guys want the secret to getting some absolutely mad horseshoe triceps like this? Save this video, but only share it with your closest gym bro. Boys, so this is basically a quadruple superset that I do to grow my triceps. I don't see anyone doing stuff like this, and that's probably why their triceps don't look like mine. Starts off with a standard cable push down with either a rope or this handle attachment, then drop on the ground and press ups to failure. Then I would call this sort of an overhead tricep cable extension, really focusing on the squeeze at the top of the movement. Then you're dropping the cable right down to the bottom and focusing on the stretch right at the bottom. And the final movement that everyone thinks is just going to implode their elbows, but it's not. You just have to use the right weight. Make sure you're doing it with correct form. This is the dumbbell skull crusher. And obviously, you gotta show off all the gains you've made. And if you wanna see how I train on everything else, my program is in my bio.